Okay, for those wondering right off the bat, yeah, I'll be over the top. And yeah, after this I'll be calmed down, move on with my life. Yeah, I like the first two Steer Movie films. Steer Movie 3 Sut, Steer Movie 4 Sut. Now there's a guy on here, uh, actually one of the guys from Dead Pit, CK, wrote me and said, hey, you know, I know you've seen some bad films, but this is the worst. This is ten times worse. And I went, come on, Scary Movie 5, I know it will be bad, but really ten times worse than anything. He was right. Like a BAH FUCK! See, I got my pissed off shirt. I got my pissed off shirt. See, I was ripped in the foot of a tour. Yep. Oh my god, I seriously, after this movie was over, I was, I couldn't sleep. And I'm fucking bouncing my head. I'm like bouncing my head. If I need a fucking helmet to put on, just will bash my head through the fucking computer screen, and through the fucking TV, and through the fucking... I can't pick myself. I can't pick myself. So maybe I squeeze my fucking brain so goddamn hard, it will ooze like pus out of my fucking nose. It'll be the allergy of the century. It'll just fucking ooze and ooze. And then maybe those little memory synapses of this fucking movie will disappear out of my nose into a fucking... <sighs> into the fucking toilet. I seriously... I watched this. I'll be honest. I did not pay a fucking penny for this. I watched this for free with a friend. And as the movie went on, I got more and more pissed. Worst movie of the year? Technically, the worst movie I saw this year was Room 237. That film pissed me off the most. You want to know why? Check back on that review. But technically, also, Room 237 came out 2012. So, technically... The worst film that came out this year is Scary Movie 5. Is that fucking bad? There's not a single laugh. And this movie had so little of shit that without the end credits, it is an hour and eight minutes. Now you think, thank God it's an hour and eight minutes, but an hour and eight minutes of pointlessness. There's not a single laugh. It's fucking torture. When you go to fucking hell, you watch Scary Movie 5. Again and again and again. Okay? In this film, I didn't pay a fucking penny. It cost 20 million, it made 30 million in the US, it made 77 million worldwide, and 77 million, way too fucking much. 32 million could give that the better fucking movies, better fucking shit. The Ray Redemption should have made 32 million dollars. Split second, Levine should have made 32 million dollars. A lot of movies should have made, give me 32 million dollars. I bet I made more people laugh than this fucking movie. I swear, it left me fucking speechless. I got fucking sick. I am not kidding. I felt fine. Then I saw this movie. My stomach, my tummy, got fucking nauseous and sick. I literally got sick. Nothing because, there's nothing gross in the movie. It's just, literally, I just got sick. Because it just, it, was like, it must be like when you get so pissed, you get fucking sick to the stomach. And then when the movie ended, then I felt better. I just couldn't sleep because it just, what the fuck occurred? People who made this movie still got jobs. They should not have jobs. This, you go to fucking school. You go to fucking college. They go, how to not make a comedy. What's that, the hardest curriculum? Steering movie fucking five. For fuck. Fuck you in your ass. Steering movie five. Grab your balls and squeeze them. To a fucking pulp, to like squeeze puff in a fucking grape, and he's putting it in your mouth. That's what it tastes like ball sacks. This was directed by a guy named Malcolm D. Lee, who did a fucked up job, but he also did Undercover Brother, Welcome Home Roscoe Jenkins, Soul Men with Sam Jackson, Bernie Mac. Some of those films I actually didn't mind, like Soul Men. But then I heard that about 60% of the stuff he shot was reshot, rewritten. He didn't write the film. David Zucker and this guy Phil Dornfield did. Okay, David Zucker did. He wrote the film. And then David Zucker rewrote and reshot 60% of this fucking movie. So who knows what the... F did Malcolm D. Lee even do anything? If 60% of your film is reshot... I'm like, is that the better stuff, maybe? 
Probably not, but who knows? It's probably better than this? Maybe. But David Zucker, I don't know what the fuck happened to this guy. This is the guy who helped direct Airplane. He directed Nate Gun, and then he did Steering Movie 3, Steering Movie 4, and hell, his name should be on the director's chair if it fucking rewrote and redirected 60% of the fucking movie. His name should be a co-director on it. It's like, fuck, I'm gonna make Malcolm D. Lee take the blame for this. And this is the worst Steering Movie film. It's the worst film of 2013. It's not the worst film I've seen all year. That's Room 237. But, yes. Worse than this? Yeah. Because this doesn't have a single fucking thing worth the shit. Only God forgives I don't like, but I can say I like pieces of the music. The Lone Ranger I don't like. It's two and a half hours of fucking boredom and Johnny Depp. Ooh, I'm a fucking crazy nut. Look, I'm doing a crazy nut again. And Army Hammer sound like a fucking baking soda. Arm and Hammer baking soda. Two and a half hours of boredom and all a bunch of bullshit. And fucking the horse fucking somehow is on a goddamn barn. All of a sudden he's in a fucking tree. Yeah, horses and fucking trees, great. But I just say there's the train scene at the end. A little bit of decent action scene there. So that's one thing. Man, it's still boner. I don't like the film, but hey, Diane Lane's good. Uh, Russell Crowe, I don't mind. Mu music, I don't mind. Especially the main one. The Wolverine, I don't like the film, but I can say Hugh Chapman is not that bad, acting-wise. I still hate those fucking movies, though. This is movie, Stereo Movie 5. It starts out with Lindsay Lohan and Charlie Sheen, and Lindsay Lohan looks fucked up. She looks fucked up. She looks like she got hit by a car, and then the car got pissed and hit her again. She's like, Lindsay Lohan, you hit me. Dude, fuck a fucking car is from Christine, and it's pissed, it's coming after Lindsay Lohan for the rest of her fucking natural life. That's how fucking ugly she looks now. Man, she's really doped up. And speaking of doped up, Charlie Sheen is there. And it's like, oh, hey. Uh, you're recording stuff, and yeah, I'm Jolly Sheen. They don't even, you know that scene in the trailer, you know, I've come back from worse than this? That was maybe the only half-decent joke. That's not even in the movie. Instead, it's fucking, she talks about how, you know, she can't, drive and Charlie Sheen's like yeah I don't want you to drive I'm a pedestrian and then you think they're going to have sex but no they're doing the Benny Hill music the Benny Hill music and they're they're twirling on top of each other fully clothed and they're twirling on top of each other the Benny Hill music and fucking clowns and little people are coming in to the fucking bed and that's the joke I would be honest, I saw this on a fucking cam, and people were laughing. I'm like, are you crying like me? Then Charlie Sheen is killed. And then you have a guy sounding like Morgan Freeman narrating. I'm like, oh, here's a guy who sounds like Morgan Freeman narrating. That joke is like four years old. Yes, I know, he narrated War of the Worlds. And March of the Penguins, how many years ago was that? How many years? But I was old is why the chicken crossed the road. Because his fucking dick was fucking caught in the pig. Who's was running away from him. Morty Freeman narrating. And then you have Snoop Dogg and this dumb fuck talking about shampoos. And then uh, they carry this giant bud across the woods. And then they talk about, hey, that cab in the woods is like that movie. Friday the 13th, no, that cab in the woods. Evil Dead, no, that cab in the woods. They keep going this, I swear, for two minutes. Straight! And then fucking these two girls that are supposed to be reference of Mama. The fucking Mama movie. And it's like, oh, he, she bit you. You don't get superpowers. And the Snoop Dogg is kicked in the nuts. Isn't that funny? And he's talking about how he wants to buy a fucking shark. And some girl goes, why would you want to buy a shark? And then, hey, let's rip off Mama. And uh, Anna Ferris is not in this. I guess she was pregnant. But maybe she, like, also, maybe she, like, hey, the script sucks, bitch. Regina Hall didn't come back. 
She did bad for Scary Movie 3 and 4, so you know how fucking bad that is. Same with Anthony Anderson. Even they thought this was, like, beyond shit. So you got some girl named Ashley Tisdale from Disney. And Simon Rex from Scary Movie 3 and 4. He wasn't funny in those movies! And they're together, and it's like the mama movie. They have these two girls, and oh, look at the girl! She's eating the fucking sunglasses. And look, they're... Ashley Tisdale is punching kids in the face. And then she has this baby, and the baby's head catches on fire. And then let's go on the rise of the play of the fucking apes and Caesar. Hey, look, your monkeys, they're throwing poo. They're throwing shit at the screen. You must have thrown in my face. It's about the same fucking experience. And then fucking Terry Crews is there. He's like waiting for the next Expendables movie. And he's like, no, uh, Simon Rex, you're in the cage. The I'm, I'm in the cage. Then you're in the Black Swan! And then Flashback had the Locklear pregnant! And her water breaks onto a fucking guy's face! And then they kick the baby into a fucking... into the band! And that's supposed to be funny! And then you have Medea watching in the audience! And then you have the Black Swan and one that Joe's is a fat girl with a tire around her! Ah! Yeah, a fat girl with a tire around her! Cause that's supposed to be fucking funny! Are we laughing? I'M NOT FUCKING LAUGHING! Dude, this was an hour and eight minutes of JACK SHIT! And Jack left town. He didn't just leave town. He fucked the whole town and raped everybody's ass. Just like this movie, rape your ass. And this black girl. And I'm gonna dance and she's on a stripper pole. And then the back to the fucking present. Or what the fuck? And then, oh, here's a, their maid. Uh, she's throwing chicken blood over the room. And then one of the little girls finds a vibrator. And then because paranormal activity. And Sarah writes his 50 cameras up. He smashes through the window. Oh, the camera and the ceiling fans hitting him on the head. This is like changing his channels in hell. This is literally like, if stay tuned, part 25. You're changing channels in hell, and each one is just as dumb. And then it is dumber and dumber and dumber. Dumber and dumber. Dumb like dinner. With a whole heaping of shit. Oh yeah, there's a joke later on where the maid gets fired, and what does she do to Simon? The Simon Rex? Oh, it's a shit pie! Oh, it's a banana! It's a shit banana! And then, I'm like, God damn, I'm losing that. I'm fucking losing that. And then, the, she, the fucking, Ashley Tisdale opens up the fucking closet. And, uh, jumps, the maid jumps out. And fucking farts and propels across the room! Never seen, like, random shit where... Oh, this girl is making out with the fucking vacuum cleaner. Ha, ha, ha. And then, uh, Tashi Tinsdale tells the dog, don't let balls in the house. And Simon Rex goes, oh, sorry, I won't. Or the, the camera fast forwards. It's just fucking Simon Rex, Tashi Tinsdale falling out of the bed. And then there's the... The Mexican lady with the pit hitting the pinata. And pans fall on Simon Rex's head. And then Cat Williams comes in to take a paycheck. And then a random fucking car blows up. And then the maid is drinking milk. And in this scene, I, I literally said, what the fuck? The poo cleaners. Like the poo cleaning equipment. It kind of looks like a vacuum cleaner, but they're like pool cleaner. They come alive and they have a party! They come alive and they have a party, and then vacuum cleaners with tits come in! I saw vacuum cleaners with tits! Vacuum cleaners with titties! It was like this and that. They were never fur! What the fuck? 
Vacuum cleaners with DDs! Pool cleaners, the pool cleaning equipment, oh, they're getting high! And they're sucking stuff up and puking! And the maid is having sex with the fucking pool cleaning equipment! Ha ha! Ha ha! And one of the jokes is the, the old Mexican woman maid has a little cross then she has a bigger cross then she has a gigantic cross and then there's a long drag out fight between the maid and Simon Rex then he goes back to rise the blades with Caesar and it lets the fucking other monkeys out then goes back to fucking Black Swan where a woman's meal is a single Cheerio ha and then you actually see a woman stiff figure an actual stick figure walking across the fucking scene. And Molly Shane is in this. Oh, I got fucked up. And oh, look, I can't barely get into the bathroom. Let the last commence. And then it goes in the fucking Inception. And during the Inception, fake Leo DiCaprio gets his flames on fire. Fuck his crotch on fire. And then gives him boobs. And then you have Jerry O'Connell in there. And Mike Tyson punches Jerry O'Connell out. Real Jerry O'Connell. Real Mike Tyson. Then goes the Evil Dead. But that before, the dog has a dream of fucking poodles. Yeah, the dog has a dream of fucking poodles. He has an inception. And then the joke is Caesar gets the shit kicked out of him twice. And then the Severus calls someone and calls an uh, escort. Then calls Santa and he turns around and we see old Santa's ass. This is the movie is old Santa's ass on your face. Suffocating you. And Joe's like Caesar opens his pants and takes a picture of his monkey dick. Two, the two lead girls go to a party and a guy is doing a disc jockey with a pizza! A fucking pizza! Do you ever see Stole House Sinister with the little girl coming out upside down out of the fucking box? And then the two lead girls make out. And to simulate it, you have tacos hit each other. Hot dog buns running each other. And then they see the video and it's the girl fucking a microwave. And then a chair fucking a microwave! And they're looking for an evil book and they get a website called Evil Book of Porn. With no real titties. And then this kid looks up and is ready to piss like a dog because that's funny. Then go to the Evil Dead cab and you have Bible folks. And they keep reading the fucking thing which makes the peep Bible group Possessed. And they keep do the joke goes on for like feels like twenty fucking minutes. Oh, I turn the book on, they cut their body parts up. Oh, I say a word. Now they're normal. Oh shit, I'm missing an arm. They do it again. Oh shit, I'm possessed. Oh, say a word, now it's gone. They do that like three times. Wasn't funny the first time. They do back and forth on the Evil Dead stuff, and then the show of them driving, it's just a toy car. Seems like they're driving a toy car, because that's supposed to be funny. And then for some reason they think Caesar did something, they lock him up, they say, oh I can talk, and the guy driving rips off his face and it's another monkey. He's like, yeah, you can talk. And Caesar goes, oh they have a demon. And then the fucking... Stupid ass driver monkey goes, Matt Damon? Well, not Matt Damon. Jason Bourne, bang bang. You're in my fucking school. <laughs> and then Sarah Rice gets attacked by fucking hair. 
That's where you get the shit pie and the shit hot dog and the shit banana from the maid. And then at least go to rescue the kids off this cliff. And they treat the kid like a dog. With well, hey, come on, little girl, he's a ball. He's a little bear. And even the little girl humps actually tilts his leg like a dog. And the main villain bitch goes off the fucking cliff. How we got there, fuck it. And it falls into Snoop Dogg's boat. And then he goes back to Black Swan and the lead girl lets the black girl dance. And all of a sudden, people celebrate, and all of a sudden, Packers fans, Green Bay Packers fans, come out of the woodwork. In fact, ooh, the narrator was Caesar all along. And it's like, oh, after the end credits, it's fucking Charlie Sheen having Inception. And Lindsay Lohan comes in with a car, kills Charlie Sheen, and leaves. And then my fucking head about to explode. My whole life sucks. We killed Bambi. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And we just, I'm out here getting my ass kicked. Every time I drive down the road, I want to jerk the road through a goddamn bridge apartment.